John showed us a picture of the almost full moon. Sky watchers will be treated to a full moon and a meteor shower this week. Tonight, John gives us a little lunar history in this week's Sky Watch 16. <laughs> Well, we have a lot to look forward to in this week's Skywatch 16, from a full moon to a constellation to look for just above another very famous one. We'll start you with that full moon. That would be the full hunter's moon. It's officially full coming up on Wednesday, 1057. Gets its name because this is the time of year that Native Americans were catching and gathering meat for the upcoming winter. And that bright moonlight, thanks to the fields that would have been flattened out, made it very easy to spot deer and fox. Now the moon this time of year around the autumnal equinox only rises about 35 minutes later each night, which would allow some of those hunter and gatherer types to get out there and do what they needed to do with the, aided, with the aid of the moonlight. We've also got the Orionid meteor shower. That will also be at peak the same night as that full moon. You'll see as many as five to 10 per hour. It's usually a little bit more than that because of that bright moonlight though, you don't get to see nearly as many. It's kind of unfortunate. The constellation to look for this week would be Araga the Charioteer. And you want to look for the goat, or Capella, the star, it gets its name as the goat, and the kids, as it's known. It's a hexagon pattern. It's in the northeast sky, and it's visible above the constellation Orion. And this is what you're looking for. And when you hear about the kids, it's that triangle of three stars, Capella and the other two, that asterism, is something you want to look for, and that's how you know you've found this constellation. We'll hope, as always, for those clear skies to see it all. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.